Alright, this is another quick speed shop. Check this out. Something completely different. I'm out here working on a Bobcat 773. I got an issue with the fuel pickup dropped off in the tank. We got to fix that because I've got to use this piece of equipment to do a future project. I'm borrowing it. I got to get it fixed before I can use it. We're going to do that right now. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Hey Bam, what we got here is a Bobcat 773. This thing's uh, kind of old. I'm not sure what year it is. Probably 90s. It's kind of rusty. Look at the bucket up there. Well, we got an issue down here under the seat. There's the fuel tank and it draws diesel up out of here and the pickup dropped off. So apparently this cab is hinged. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's gas shocks there. So I guess I can pick this cab up and get under the seat. They got some new parts over here. We got a new hose and a new inlet. This thing has got a, I think a four cylinder, yeah, a little four cylinder diesel. Right now we got a fuel line. I guess we got a new hose. What we got coming on here? Hose going to the fuel pump. Right now it's being run off a Mountain Dew bottle full of diesel. Obviously you can't run it that far. So I've got to get it fixed up. What we got here, I think this is a new line from the tank. This is my buddy's bobcat. I'm fixing it for him so I can use it. So I think this is a new line from the tank. That must be the old line, I guess. So I gotta put a new pickup in. I've never worked on one of these before. I've never worked on anything diesel before. So we're gonna find out how this works. I know we had it running off this uh, Mountain Dew bottle because we drove it off the trailer over here. So it, it is getting fuel up to the system and the engine runs fine after, after it gets going but the uh, pickup is broke. So let's try to flip this cab up and see if we can fix it. Oh man, this thing's heavy. Ah, there we go. It wasn't that handy. Got a latch over here that latch, so this shouldn't come down and kill me. The fuel tank's in the back here. This is the must be the hydraulic tank, I guess. Or maybe it's all fuel tank, I don't know. But back here, here's the fuel line. And I've got it pulled out. I've got a new grommet that goes down in here and a new elbow and a new line down in the tank. So let's uh, go ahead and pull this out and see what we got. If it'll come out. Aha. Uh -huh. What the heck? It's got a, it's got a pickup tube on it. What's the problem here? The tank's full of diesel. The grommet's kind of goofy looking. I thought he said the pickup fell off this. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put all the new parts in. The tank is right full of diesel. I can see that. So my new fuel line comes to the line that goes in the tank and it's got a screen filter end here and it's got some uh, little clamps that go on the pliers here. So I'll open this up. This weighted screen, weighted screen uh, pickup filter here it keeps it on the bottom. There's a spring on that. It's got a check ball in it so the fuel won't, won't bleed back. So my friend just had a plastic pickup tube in there. I think the secret is there's a little uh, uh, check valve in this. You hear it rattling. I think you need to have the check valve to make this work correctly. So I'm just gonna insert the plastic tube onto there. And then it's got these little clamps that squeeze with players. I'm not sure what they're called. But I can uh, squeeze them with this style of player here, crimp it on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and give her a little squeeze. And like that, that clamps that on there. Also got a new elbow and a new, uh, what do you call it, new grommet. So I put the grommet on the, the elbow. I'm going to go ahead and install the pickup hose. This hose, is, it's got a little bit of curl for me in the bag. Hopefully it'll straighten out when it goes down to the tank and lay down in there.
Okay, I've gone ahead and I've crimped the line on. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it back in the tank. It's kind of a tight fit. Oh, it's kind of a tight fit with this uh, clamp sticking off the side of here. The clamp is interfering with the side of the hole. I'm just gonna see if I can squish this down a little bit. I'm gonna take a hammer or uh, in my vise. I'm just gonna squeeze this down flat a little bit to make it a little bit smaller because it's hitting the edge of the tank and it won't allow it to go in there. So I'm gonna do that, squish it out, then we'll try to get it back in. Ooh, race car. All right, that did the trick that that went down in there good. So before I reinstall uh, the grommet piece, I'm going to go ahead and stick the hose, fuel outlet hose back onto the elbow and tighten it down with a clamp here. Come here. I had to take the fuel line off the nipple because it was just fighting me trying to get in there and I think I got to tap straight down on this fitting with this old piece of aluminum and drive that uh, rubber down in there straight because it's fighting me. So I'm going to try this, see if this works here. rubber down in. It's, I think it's going. Okay, let me show you what I did here. I finally got the O-ring to go in there. I just had to push it and actually spun the fitting around a bunch of times and it worked it down in the tank. So that's in there. I used a piece of quarter inch rubber fuel hose to go here because I couldn't get the plastic line up on that fitting. But I went and I used a fuel filter so I could filter the, the diesel here and I could also see and make sure that I got fuel in it. So I put in a plastic filter I've just got it in here temporarily because I'm going to replace this plastic hose with a rubber hose when I can go get some more quarter inch line. But in the meantime, I put the fuel filter here. And my friend put a siphon ball back here. So I, I siphoned, I worked the siphon ball and I got fuel up in here. We're going up here to the fuel pump. Um, there is a re so the fuel pump is here. And it goes through the, uh, I'm not even sure what it's called, the mechanical fuel pump into the mechanical injectors through here. And then there is a return line coming off the end of the fuel rail here, this quarter inch rubber hose. He had this disconnected and plugged. Um, this line, I believe, goes back to the tank by where the vent tube is and is the return line. So I went and I hooked that back up using the old elbow from the, that I took out of the tank. And I'm gonna think that's gonna work. So I got fuel here. Um, when I put the rubber line on, I'll secure this better. I just want to see if this thing will start. I've got a couple of air bubbles in here, but I've pumped it up as good as I can with a bubble. So I'm going to set the seat back down. We'll get the key out and see if this thing, this thing will fire up. Got some relays. I got to wiggle down here, I guess. Let's try it again. Oh, just lost that. Wherever that was. The electronics are haphazard down here. Oh boy, this thing, this is just great. Oh, man, holy moly here. Which one is the fuel pump relay or whatever? This is wonderful. See, 
starter power switch. Alright, let me dig out another relay and futz this. I'll pull these fuses out, look at the connections, make sure everything's good, put some contact on it. It's obviously that connection box has been wet and rusty a whole bunch of times. So I'll, I'll futz around with that and then we'll see if she'll fire. Let me try it one more time. Nope. Dang it! <laughs> this is the glow plug relay. Look at that bottom contact. That's terrible. Pretty crunchy. All right, let me go get another glow plug relay. Should be standard, like 87 or whatever they are here. Okay, let's try it again here and see what happens. Oh, the glow plugs are working now. Okay. Okay. Seat bar, that's down. Glow plugs again. Okay. Okay, let me check it for fuel leaks, but there, I figured that out. I also got to take the safety ram off the boom, the bucket. Yeah, so I got, I got to remove this so I can set the bucket down. We got here, this appears to be okay. Yeah, let's try this again. Glow plugs. Okay.
out pretty good here. Let me shut it off. I gotta tighten up the right front wheel. I just want to try to tighten up the right front hub here, but all the lug nuts are like, I can't even budge them. And they look like they're sticking out the same amount of threads as on the back wheel back here. So I don't know if the thread, the studs have pulled out of the hub. Obviously we got something going on because it's leaking oil out of this hub. But I don't understand. I can't budge any of these. I put the breaker bar on them. I don't know if it's pulling the studs out because it's it's stretched them or, or whatever. I don't want to snap one off, but I'm going to have to get like a breaker bar and try to... Or I got a breaker bar. I got a pretty big breaker bar. I can't even budge any of these. I don't understand. I went both ways. I can't budge them because if the nuts are just loose, it seems like they would be loose and I could tighten them up easily. Okay, these are just uh, loose. I was able to bust one that was stuck in the studs. I was able to tighten the top one up, so now I'm going to put some put some heat on her. See if you can uh, tighten the rest up. Without killing myself in the process. Oh man. It's tight like a tiger. That is tight. Tight like a tiger. Sure would have been nice if somebody had done this when they were loose in the first place. Yeah, they're just rusted. It's got rust on them where they've been sitting loose forever. That's great. I guess I gotta bust them all loose and keep going here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Son of a gun. Are you serious? Oh, man. I'm gonna have to put some heat on them. I don't know if it can even get my torches out here right now. It's such a disaster. Put a little bit of heat on there. Heat each one of the nuts up and crank them on. That wasn't good at all. Well, I pulled this thing back out of the way here. I can't get my torches out of the building or out of the shop. There's a car in the way and some other finagling. So I'm gonna have to bag this for now. I actually got some other things to do today. It's getting kind of late in the day to be monkeying around with this. So in the I'll get the torches out when I move some stuff around and I'll heat these nuts up and get them loosened up and tighten the wheel back up down. But I wanted to get this thing going. I fixed the fuel problems. I got a, I got a building project we're gonna be doing here at the Quick Speed Shop in the next uh, couple of months and I need the bucket and I need there's an auger attachment for this I need that to drill some post holes so my friend let me borrow this and I, the deal was I had to get it working so I've, I've done that most of the way I'll fix this wheel and then we should be in business here with this bobcat and then we'll do a building project that should be pretty sweet so in the meantime tell your friend subscribe and I'll see you again right here at the quick speed shop